Hey there, this is a video on order of operations part two. So we are going to dig a little bit deeper into um, specifically when we have parentheses within parentheses. And then we will also be looking at uh, multiplication and division of parentheses. So let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper into some common issues that we see, and we'll do it in the order of PEMDAS. So operations within parentheses. So if a mathematical expression includes parentheses within parentheses, so for example, if I have something in parentheses like four plus, and then I have, let's say, another set of parentheses, maybe two times seven minus four or something like that. So, and maybe I even have more to that expression. But when we have parentheses within parentheses or brackets within parentheses or parentheses within brackets or any sort of variation there, the inner parentheses have to be solved first or simplified first. So we would do this part right here first and then work our way to the outer set of parentheses. So we would do that. And then we would work ourselves to the rest of the expression. So again, following those order of operations, but the innermost parentheses are hit first, and then we would work our way out. So let's try an example with that. We're going to go ahead and simplify the following expression. So we're going to use those order of operations, P, E, M, D, A, S. So we'll start with parentheses. Now we notice that we have two sets of parentheses here. We have a set of parentheses here and here. And then we also have an additional set of parentheses here and here, the blue. The blue are inside of the pink, so we do need to start with the blue set of parentheses first. So we're going to go ahead and do 3 plus 2 first. So we will leave 5 plus 2. This operation right here, when there is nothing between 2 and the parentheses, is really multiplication. So I'm going to do 2 and then times for multiplication and then whatever we get in this blue set of parentheses. So for that, three plus two is five. And then we have our last pink parenthesis and then divided by three. So we can eliminate those blue parentheses when we evaluate the three plus two, but we can't just write two five, that would look like 25. Um, so you would um, leave that as two times five since that is multiplication. Now we can go ahead and do the part in the pink parentheses. Notice that this time we have uh, three numbers with addition and multiplication between them. So we are within parentheses still in our overall order of operations, but within parentheses, we have to follow the order of operations just solely within those. So looking at our order of operations for that specific set of parentheses, we already did our blue set of parentheses. There were no exponents. So now we are actually on multiplication and division. So from five plus two times five, we see that two times five is multiplication. So I'm going to leave five plus, and then two times five is 10. And then we still have divided by three. Now we are still working within that pink set of parentheses, which I now have written in purple. So now we are going to go ahead and complete our addition and subtraction since multiplication and division has been done in those parentheses. So now we are on addition and subtraction. We do have addition there. So we'll do five plus 10, which is 15. Because that is our last operation in the parentheses, we can go ahead and drop the parentheses and then we still have divided by three. So we went ahead and did everything for within the pink parentheses in terms of order of operation. Now, in terms of the overall expression, we just finished that first step. We finished all of our parentheses and evaluating everything inside the parentheses. There are no exponents in 15 divided by three, so we're good there. Multiplication and division. We do have division here, so we can go ahead and evaluate 15 divided by three is five. And that is our final answer. So we didn't have any addition and subtraction outside of those parentheses. So once we finish that uh, division, 15 divided by three, we got our final answer. So now we are going to look at multiplication and division of parentheses. So if we have a number or a variable multiplying or dividing a set of parentheses, we can do what we call distribute that number or that variable to every term inside of the parentheses as opposed to um, simplifying the parentheses first and then multiplying that um, by what you get inside. And this can be helpful when, uh, for example, you have parentheses that can't really um, 
be simplified inside. So for example, here, this 2b minus 4 plus 1 over b, we can't actually combine any of these because we have a 2b, we have a minus 4, which is a constant without a variable on it. And then we have a 1 divided by b, where b is in the denominator. So we can't actually put any of these merged together by adding, subtracting, anything like that. This is as simplified as it can get. So to simplify a little bit further, with this b times in front, we can actually distribute the b to every term inside of the parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can write that out. So b times 2b, and I'm going to write these um, small steps of, of showing work so you can see where it comes from, but you may get to the point where you don't necessarily need to show every single one of these steps um, in order to follow along with it. So b times 2b is the first set of multiplication. Then we do b times negative 4. And you can write it like this, or you can write it, I'll show you another way, as minus, and then do b times 4. So you can consider the negative sign with the 4 and have plus b times negative 4, or you can consider the subtraction sign to be um, just stationary there and just do the b times the 4 itself, not with the negative. Both ways will work out to be the same thing, so either way is fine. And then our last set of multiplication will be b times 1 over b, so plus b times 1 over b. So to simplify that, b times 2b is going to be 2b squared because b times b is b squared, and this b is essentially a 1 there. 1 times 2 is 2. Then we have minus b times 4. Typically, you put the number first and then the variable, plus b times 1 over b. Now, b is not a fraction right now, but we could put it over 1. And when we multiply fractions, we multiply across the top and across the bottom. So we would, doing, we would be doing b times 1 on top over 1 times b on bottom, which is b. So b over b, we can simplify a little bit further. So I'll leave 2b squared minus 4b plus 1. When you do b divided by b, you get that 1. So this would be our final answer. We cannot actually simplify any further because each term, 2b squared, 4b, and 1, each term does not have the same variable. This one has no variable. This one has a b, and this one has a b squared. So none of them are what we call like terms, so we cannot combine those together. Now, looking at number two, we have a similar concept, except for inside of the parentheses, we can do a little simplifying first. So we see here this 4D plus 3 minus 1. We can actually combine 3 minus 1 because they are both constants, numbers without variables. So I'm going to leave 4D plus 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 um, gives us 2. And then we have a parenthesis there and then divided by 2. So I could not do 4D plus 3 because one of those has a variable and one doesn't. So that's why I did not start there, even though that does come first left to right. I can't simplify that. So that's as simplified as it can be. And then I can go ahead and do 3 minus 1 and gives us 2. All right. Now, at this point, I can't simplify any more in the parentheses. So this is where that same concept that we just used on the last one comes into play except for we are not multiplying by the 2 that's outside of the parentheses. It is actually divided by 2. So we are still going to distribute that divided by 2 to each term. So it will now look like 4D divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2. When we do 4 divided by 2, we get 2, and then we still have a D with that 2 because um, there is no D on the bottom, so it's just 2D, plus 2 divided by 2 is 1, and that would be your answer. Now, I do want to also point out that this applies only to multipliers and divisors of parentheses, so notice in both of these cases we were multiplying by B or dividing by 2. This does not work when we have plus a number or minus a number um, outside of the parentheses, we cannot distribute addition and subtraction into parentheses. It only works to um, multiplication or division of a number, and it always works 
only to terms inside of the parentheses. So we distribute it to all of the terms in the parentheses. So in summary, we talked about operations with parentheses and how if we have parentheses inside parentheses, we always have to do the inner parentheses first and then work our way out. Additionally, with parentheses, we talked about how we want to make sure that um, we are following the order of operations inside the parentheses as we are following the order of operations for the entire expression. Second thing we looked at is multiplication and division of parentheses. We talked about the distributive property and how it only works with multiplication and division across terms in parentheses.